Hello, everybody. Happy Monday. It's Dave Neal, stand-up comic, and this is a Love is Blind Season 4 update. We've got a lot of tea to share with you, screen grabs of TikTok responses. Marshall responding to Jackie after her claim, and she made some wild claims. We're going to find out if she drops the receipts on the reunion episode this Sunday. It's going to be aired live on Netflix, and we are going to do a recap live stream directly afterwards if you have anything you want to say, call the voicemail line or leave a comment in the section. We're going to have a ton to get to this Sunday, but um, why wait till Sunday when we can just start dropping those receipts in the tea now? So we have Marshall responding to Jackie. I'm going to share what she said in the comment section of Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Marshall's responses, some things you are saying, and my defense of the video that I made Saturday. If you're new to my channel, I cover a lot of Bachelor Nation news and other entertainment and celebrity news. Every Every afternoon, we have a podcast, Bachelor Rush Hour, which I'm absolutely going to be including Love is Blind, American Idol, and other entertainment news in this. Link in the comment section or just go to bachelorrushhour.com and you can stream it completely for free. All right, so let's jump into it. I made this video Saturday. It was just me responding to Jackie's statement she released. She essentially has a statement which says they edited her scenes out of order and she actually had dumped Marshall already, which is essentially means she didn't cheat on him when she got together with the other guy. Well, I got a trillion messages from people like, you know, analyzing it like it's the Zabruta film. Well, you got to look at her eyes. And if you look at the, you know, the, the shadow, the, you know, the bringing in astrology and this and that. Look, here's the point. Here's the point of what I'm trying to say. If you're new to my channel, hi, how are you? I just don't believe that everyone's evil when they're on these reality shows. Uh, our good friend, Dr. Diane Strakowski has said, and you can check out my interviews with her in the past, she is going to come on my channel to talk about these topics this week. Uh, but if you look at what she says, she says, we're all like tea. We don't know what our flavor is until we're dropped in hot water. Jackie might have learned a lot about herself. She might be in the process of learning a lot about herself, just like Shane or Shakes or any contestants. It doesn't mean she's an evil person. And a lot of people say, well, the way she treated Marshall and this and that, and we take out all of our sort of own emotional baggage out on these contestants when we watch this show because we want justice. Dating's messy. There isn't much justice. They dated for 20 days. And I go over and over and say these things like, look, will she learn about herself? Maybe her communication style isn't good. Of course, uh, the way her and Marshall argued, just like a lot of like you statements, you do this. Well, you, you know, a lot of that type of stuff. I want the ring back. You're not getting the ring. You know, it's like we sort of, uh, sort of re resort back to our like child self our inner child in times of controversy and adversity. So when we talk about grace, and I'm going to share the, the screen grabs and the, all that jazz, but when we talk about grace, it's not about have. it's easy to have grace. Like, oh, I can have grace for uh, Micah in the situation she's in. Fine. Okay, whatever. It's having grace for people that are in a tough situation that might have done something that's rude, uh, you know, toxic, whatever. That's when you can really let your grace flag fly. And I think we have a hard time with that. She, uh, Jackie shared my Instagram story about my video on Saturday. And I got so many, so many negative comments from people calling me trash, telling me that I was like white knighting her, which means I was like trying to kiss her ass so that I could date her or something or like get her attention. It's like, uh, that well, I got, I'm good. I'm love is like I said in the comments, love is blind. My wife is beautiful and we're happy and that's okay. <laughs> you know, and maybe Jackie will find that relationship she's looking for. But either way, let's get into it right now. I'll read some of your comments sections in a minute. But she had respond to a lot of people. So there's a lot of screen grabs here. I'm stepping on next in this reunion going to be the icing on the cake. Um, it is reported that Jackie's going to drop all of her receipts after the reunion or during the reunion episode. So when I when I go live on Sunday, we are going to get all of these receipts and then we can start analyzing everything and see who's right, who's wrong. The point that I made in my last video is that She'll, we'll, we'll be able to connect the dots. Like, let's hold on, folks. Either she's lying through her teeth or she's got a point. We saw Zach, you know, he had, he had to prove with the video footage that he didn't plagiarize that stupid story, you know. She'll get a chance. She'll get the information. If she's lying, 
I can imagine Love is Blind will pull their receipts in, in Catcher in a Lie. Um, da, 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 she said, um, I'm going to check and clear them at the live. So it looks like everything's going down at the live. And um, someone said, Jackie literally could have just stayed home. And her response was interesting. And I don't even think this counts as a spoiler. She said, I got married, dummy, TF. And maybe she meant like the engagement. Or maybe she's been married in the past. I don't really know. I'm imagining she doesn't get married on Friday night's episode. Friday night's our last episode. We'll have a recap. Saturday morning. If there's any other statements or, you know, fighting back and forth, we'll cover that. Subscribe. And then on Sunday, we'll have the live episode. So it's going to be a busy back end of the week. So here we, so here it gets interesting. Jackie says this, just wait till the reunion when the audio of Marshall calling a whole community a slur by. Someone responded, so you waiting to try to cancel Marshall? Him saying a slur doesn't change your actions. That's going tit for tat. Just say you saw Marshall and checked out. Her response, not at all try to cancel anyone. That's for the community to do. Once her call me that he we broke up then and there, but I had to break up on camera. So she's saying he called her a slur. She broke up with him, but then they had to wait for the cameras to show up to break up again. Here's one of the problems I have with Love is Blind. A lot of people are like, oh, the show's like so real. And it's like, yeah, but they they they, they, they there's too many um uh black spots on the edit. And by that, I mean, there are too many moments where they don't have cameras rolling. Do you know what I mean? Uh, when you watch The Bachelor, there's always a camera to catch everything unless it's like when they're flying somewhere, they don't have, they don't film that. But on Love is Blind, there's always like, the cameras just randomly show up to a coffee date and they got to re-break up, you know what I mean? So it really does throw the timeline off. But she's saying they already broke up. I'm assuming if that is true, then, uh, then you know, like my guess is this. Maybe she broke, and again, well, you, know, you send me all these, you know, people send me all these informations with screen grabs and videos and this and that. Maybe they broke up, and I'm sure he would admit to it if they did. And then maybe she got with the other guy, and then maybe she broke up again on camera to make it, uh, you know, for the for the filming of it all. I don't know. Um... Someone has ca called it this. Stop calling love is blind an experiment. The results are pretty clear. The love is not really blind, and most couples who are on the show break up. One in five success rate for an experiment is pretty terrible. And that's, of course, one in five success rate. Like, not, you know, what's it going to look like in 10 years? Will there any of these couples be left, you know? Sure, like, you know, I always say this, like, a broken clock still right twice a day. A blind uh, squirrel still catches a nut. And maybe nut is the wrong uh, term here, but uh, the point being is that it's a it's an experiment where they already put attractive people that are all in the same dating pool together. So love is not necessarily blind. Um, uh, someone said this, commented on Marshall's TikTok. Can you speak on Jackie's claim that you used a slur? Marshall says I did not. Okay says, I did not. Um, and here is what Marshall had to say on his TikTok. Someone asked a question. I mean, if Marshall didn't pay for the ring, why he pressed to pocket it himself? And his response is... <laughs> just kind of like, I'm from around the way. I'm leaving with something. He goes, I'm from around the way. I'm leaving with something. Hey, that's a funny one. Funny TikTok. I'm okay with that. Like a good funny TikTok. And then this comment is, what's going to happen at the reunion? I don't know. He says, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. So that's his response. And um, we'll have some more TikToks in a second here. Uh, let's see. Uh, um, here, this was posted by Reality Ashley. We've seen what happens when they give the ring back. So here's Marshall. I would like the ring back because I don't think that you deserve it. You're not the one. So he said, I would like the ring back because I don't think you deserve it. And of course, this is like producers, you know, making this happen. First of all, diamond rings have a very, very bad resale value. So it's not like it's worth much if you took it to a pawn shop. You know what I mean? What are you going to get a power drill for it? A ring back. I don't give a I fuck about a ring. Fuck so, a ring. Uh, of course, the previous season where the ring was thrown into the pool and then the pool guy's like, all right, I'll get the ring. You know what I mean? Because I don't give, I don't care about the ring. Okay, so very interesting. Yeah, what happens when you don't give the ring back? Even Shane, our good pal Shane, is commenting on the ring on TikTok. I mean, if Marshall didn't pay for the ring, why he pressed to pocket it himself? Here's Shane. I'm like, I'm leaving here with something. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm from around the way. I'm leaving with something. Bro, it costs 3K, all right? You're already leaving with the victim card? Don't worry. You'll be fine. All right, boom, ball voyage. 
<laughs> oh, Shane cannot help himself. It says, boom, bone voyage, uh, which means have a nice vacation. Get out of here, right? My Francophiles. All right, so it's messy. As far as the ring's concerned, who gets to keep the ring? It's like people people go back to like traditional engagements. Well, he proposed to her under the assumption X, Y, and Z. I think in a tradition, I think this, in a traditional um proposal i think that you should give the ring back if like the ring the engagement ring represents you know solidarity uh commitment this and that so if you decide that you no longer want that i think you would give the ring back in this case uh, it's not like marshall you know it wasn't like marshall's like i'm gonna give this ring to you or i could like sure they all had different options but it's kind of archaic the way the ring system works like why why you know how why maybe they should have been progressive and had the women give the men rings in which case you know what i mean it's just stupid so she's got the ring it's one of those things i think it's like whoever's in possession of it has the right to it i don't know if the producers have any sort of um <laughs> i don't know if they've got anything in the contract about what happens to the ring we know on on the bachelor you have to be engaged for at least two years and then you can keep the ring like becca kufrin did uh if you're engaged for less than two years like katie thurston they uh they get some wd-40 and they spray it on your finger and they just take it and they repo it and get out of there so anyway that's the response we have jackie so of course when i commented on this i got a ton of hate from people and i'm like look i guess people oh it looks like maybe she maybe she closed the comment section down oh wow comment section's gone right here but you know a bunch of people responding just like negativity and my whole thing is this let's wait and see how it all plays out and if anyone wants to leave a comment i got my free uh facebook community page if you want to leave a comment over there so you can literally just um i just posted a status update you can leave a comment and like listen to all the other behind the scenes stuff that's going on on our community and also i'll leave you guys with this i actually recorded this on saturday when my um story was blowing up because it was a number one story over the weekend, 20, 20 or 30,000 views, whatever it's at. It was a big story, the Jackie statement here. Uh, but here's me and my wife um, uh, just discussing sort of like the toxicity of DMs from people in this parasocial relationship where people think they have a right to tell you what you did wrong. They think they have a right to like, she hasn't acknowledged uh, that she was problematic. So I have to, you know, rail. And it's like, look, by all means, the comment section is a place to vent, but let's just remember for all the people that were going crazy on a Saturday, go out for a walk, do something positive, enjoy the toxicity and the drama from the TV show, but don't let it spill into your personal life where you got to leave comments. It's just like ridiculous. Here's a clip from my 20 minute conversation with my wife. Um, we call it driving with Dave. And if you want to listen to the full thing, you can go to Patreon link in the comment section, patreon.com slash Dave Neal. If you want to be a part of our private membership community. It's never, it's not This like is not someone who apparently troll. has, they've apparently been listening for years and I've never bothered to send you like a kind message or a hello. Yeah. The first thing they ever sent to you is a complaint. Like that's not the kind of person that you're going to miss their messages anyway. Yeah. You know what I mean? This is not somebody who deserves to have access to you. They wouldn't have access to you in real life. So be quick on the block. If someone's first message is And I love this is what I love about my wife. She's quick on the block. I'm different. I like to mess with people, which is like doesn't doesn't uh, always go well. But the point is for Jackie or Marshall or any contestants that are on the show, look, people don't always have a right to your DMs, your inbox. You know, you don't have to respond to them. And do I think Jackie's 100% a fully realized person who has it all figured out? No. Do I think Marshall is? No. They obviously exposed bad communication on the season. The thing that I laugh at is the people that watch this show and expect them to be perfect. They're on a dating show. Why'd you go on the show if you weren't ready to get married? Maybe they were ready to get married to the right person and that didn't actualize and and, um, you know, uh, just a weird, wild, and of course the, the bias for who, who, who wants to go on the show doesn't always lead to people that have all of their, uh, you know, marbles together. So that's no hate on them or anyone else who goes on the show, but let's just take, like, let's not raise the bar and expect them to be any better than any of our messy friends out there. All right. Let me know what you guys think. We'll have more content. If they drop any more statements in the meantime, don't forget to subscribe, follow me on Instagram for stand up show updates d neils and also patreon.com slash dave neil for the behind the scenes bonus content every afternoon bachelor rush hour the podcast daily free live stream bachelor rush we'll see you right after this